Okay, welcome back to another video. This is how to make a quick website that you can actually post stuff on on Wix. Now, there's a person that already did this. His name is Wix Training Academy. However, his videos are absolutely terrible. You do not take anything away from them, and it takes many hours to just complete a simple task, okay? So this series is going to be a lot shorter, but we're going to be accomplishing the same basic things. So first of all, go to Wix.com, sign in, then click Create New Site. You can close this tab. Wix tabs take up a lot of RAM. They're super annoying. Wix is super slow, but it's free. And now you're going to click on uh, Template. Choose a Template. And then you're going to search Templates. You're going to search Blank because we are going to be starting from scratch. Okay? Click Edit. And then, boom. We are on the Wix site editor. Okay? Uh, you can just like take a sip of water or something. It's gonna take a while to load. It always says, "I." Uh, it doesn't help the fact that I have a bunch of other sites on this account. Okay, so now the site is loaded. It's a brand new site. We're gonna click on Dev Mode because Dev Mode allows us to do extra things, and there's no point of not having Dev Mode on. Okay, so now it's gonna say, "Welcome to Corvette." Exit out. Minimize this, and exit out. Okay, so now it looks like this. Now we need to add a new database. So the way we do that is we're going to click on Add, click Content Manager, and we're going to add a new collection, and we're just going to name this post. Databases are basically what makes the site actually work. So when you click New Collection, you're, then you're going to click on Blank. You're going to name this Posts. What's this collection for? It's going to be for custom use. So you're going to scroll down, click Custom Use, set custom permissions. Who can read content from this collection? Anyone who can create content. Anyone who can update. Admin. Who can delete. Admin. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Anyone, anyone, admin, admin. Okay, set and create collection. And then boom, our collection is now created. And also the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm really angry at this guy. I just wasted 20 hours of my life. So I'm doing this as a favor. So you guys don't have to waste 20 hours of your life watching his videos okay so now we can X this out we do not need this anymore now what we want to do is click on content manager again and since we added a collection we have unlocked data set so now you're going to click on data set not form data set just normal data set it's going to be like this and we're going to need to configure the data set now so the way we do that we click on settings we choose collection, we're going to choose posts, the post we just made, and we're just going to call this post data set. And now the mode is going to be a write only. And then X is out, right? Now this is where we're going to be actually writing the posts. So now what we want to do is we're going to click on add again. Click on lists and grids. We're going to add any of these repeaters. Repeaters are what actually uh, makes the post show up, okay? So now we're going to move this repeater anywhere you want. It does not matter whatsoever. This is just what's going to show up. Now, the repeaters, they repeat what's in one box. So, we're going to first delete this because we do not need it. We only need one text box in each repeater box. So, see, it's lagging. I absolutely hate this website. It's terrible. Okay, we click on that number. Delete it. It's not the one we wanted. We're going to click undo. Oh my god. What the heck's wrong with this website? See, I hate this website. But hey, it works, so that's why I use it. Okay, so now we're going to just delete this number. If we can. Oh my. Content manager. Undo that. Okay, now we click on the text. And uh, let me show you. If we delete that text, it deletes on every single one. So that's what repeaters do. That's their job. It's their only job. And they do it pretty well. And now we can minimize this text box. And the text box affect the proportions of how well you can make this uh, repeater fit your page. So now, see, when we made this text box smaller, we were able to make this repeater smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this here. And now we can drag the repeater and drag it over to the side. So we have extra space on our website. I don't know why you'd never do that. And now we're going to click on Add. And we're going to add a box. A box essentially puts all of the materials together and we're going to need that so I'm just going to get a nice black box it can be any color it does not matter whatsoever drag it to the proportions you like drag down and now we're going to change the design actually because 
I'm having second thoughts. I think I'm going to have a gray box or a white box. Okay, and now what we're going to do is click add. And we're going to click on add input. Input is actually a text field that people can fill out. Okay, and now we're going to drag it onto the box. And it's going to turn blue and say attach to box. That's good. That means it's all working correctly. And now we can drag this into like a paragraph if we want. Settings, quickly change the name from add your name to write a post like this. And now we're not done because this is not going to work unless we click on the input box, connect it to data, and we're going to connect it to post data set. Value is connected to I, I, uh, title. And we're going to exit out, and now we're going to add a button. So we're going to click on button, add theme button. It can be any button you want, it does not matter at all. And see how it's in the box? you got to make sure that these things are inside this box, otherwise it's not going to work. And now we're going to link this box page. We're going to home, done, connect to data. We're going to connect this to the post data set. And if you do this correctly and if they're inside the same box, it's going to say submit. And we're going to, we you can add a success or a failure message if you want. I'm not going to. And once successful, stay on this page, blah, blah, blah. Now it's correct. And now we're going to click on the repeater, click on the text box, and now we're going to connect the text box to its data. So it's going to actually show up. Choose post data set text connects to title. Okay, we're going to give this a quick test run. Now, it's not going to be officially public when you reload the site. It The text will probably go away. Keep that in mind. If you want, I can make it so it's public. But this could just be a reminders website. So I'm just going to post anything anything I want. See how it shows up? I can put to blah, blah, blah. And see it works, but if we re reload, it goes away. So, sorry about that. Um... I'm not exactly sure how to fix that part. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I need to uh, add a new data set, so I'm going to do that. And in the meantime, like and subscribe, because this took a lot of time to figure out. And yeah, I'll be in the next video. Link to that next video is going to be in the description. Expect that within the next week. And yeah, that's it. This is how to make a simple post website with Wix.